Police have revealed they won't lay criminal charges over the devastating Samson Flat bushfire, saying they know where the fire started but can't be sure how. The decision angering victims who say justice hasn't been served. Craig Lomas's home was damaged during January's Samson Flat bushfire, 24 others completely destroyed as the blaze tore through almost 13,000 hectares. Mr Lomas, one of many locals, now left reeling by news no charges will be laid. Yeah, it's disappointing. We'll find the reason why it started. And, yeah, and as a community, everyone can, you know, learn from it. I think most of us around here have a fair idea of, of what did happen. It's just really unfortunate that they couldn't pin down someone for what happened. While police say they are confident the origin of the devastating fire was at or near an incinerator on a local property, and the tenant who has since moved on was questioned, investigators have today confirmed the cause of the fire is unknown and therefore cannot be proven to be a criminal act, something locals find hard to accept. Most fires have a cause and mostly people can put their finger on what happened. So it's very unusual that this one doesn't seem to have a cause. Residents here believe the prosecution of whoever was responsible would have not only delivered them justice, but served as a deterrent to others. If there's no ramifications for what you do, what's going to stop people from doing it again? And Jared Brevy is live at Kersbrook. Jared, have police now closed the case? Well, Kate, police say the initial inquiry conducted by Task Force Sampson is complete. They've described the process as complex and exhaustive. They do, however, say that if new information comes to life, they can re-examine the case and charges could still be laid. So tonight there are renewed calls for anyone who might know what caused this disaster to come forward. All right, Jared, thank you.